the flat earth. I noticed you're interested in this board. Um, it's a really good board if you're looking for uh, something loose and you can surf it real top to bottom. You can surf it in, um, you know, thigh high to a couple feet overhead um, and just a little bit bigger. Um, it's loose um, and you it stays right in the pocket and you can surf it top to bottom. Um, one thing I noticed and uh, a lot of times, the, a lot of feedback that we got from people is that they need to go a little bigger than their normal volume. Um, I guess just the way the uh, thing serves. So most people are happy with something to the next um, bigger board. Um, and then also you need to surf this a little bit forward. So um, I've talked to a guy that is a really good surfer and uh, he gets to test out a lot of the uh, Slater boards before they come to market. And he taught us that we should maybe go up about an inch um, then where you normally place your deck pad, um, this board wants to be surfed, uh, not right off the tail, but a little forward, um, fins, most guys are using on for futures is ENs, um, with a small trailer. Um, you can also use the T1s, but the EN seem like everybody likes it. Um, you can use the Aquila fins too, pretty loose. Um, so a lot of the guys that are not pro level. Um, they like the bigger um, base with uh, a lot of rake. So for FCS2, it would be the uh, Power Twins. Um, actually, those fins are my favorite fins. Um, and it's in the LFT construction, so it sits more like a regular um, fiberglass board. Um, and the way it looks on the inside, it looks just like this. Um, it has a high-density foam stringer that sits... Um, about three eighths of an inch below the deck. Um, it's real strong, and uh, that's pretty much it on the uh, flat Earth. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to uh, reply back, or you can even uh, text us at eight zero eight five nine seven nine zero five five. We're here Monday through Friday, eleven to seven. Saturday, 1030 to 7, and Sunday, 11 to 6. Thank you. Aloha.